What is going up guys? I'm playing a game called Backbone. I have no idea what it's about. I mean, from the look of it, it looks a bit like Fantastic Mr. Fox because of a fox and a badger. Anyway, let's get into it. Oh, that's a nice loading mechanic. Prologue, Act 1. Oh, it's all like proper, very pixelated and stuff. Okay, so it's just uh, a badger reading a book. Phone's gone off. That is a nice... I mean, it's a nice flat, to be honest. S sorry, miss your call. Yeah, no problem. Something, something. I didn't read the rest of that. Just enough time to clean up. Okay, so we're going to be cleaning up the place, I'm guessing. So, A, B, E is to interact, and Tab is to access detective menu. So, it's a detective sort of bit. So, let's inspect card thing. That's where the stuff gets made. Doing honest work with your hands. Not a bad laugh, really. West end. No one's idea of paradise. Mainly factories in cramped tenement blocks full of neglected souls. So who's this person here then? Ah, Pianetti. You beautiful, dangerous renegade. You may be one day. You'll settle down and call me again. So maybe that's his... Maybe that's our wife, girlfriend, maybe. Right, let's inspect the desk. Use. Ah. Right. So that's cleared that up. Let's look at the first files. Insurance fraud, stolen cars, Estranged lovers should probably bin some of these old case files. Let's check out the living room. So in the living room, we have a media set. Gotta hit the old Frankie to fix it when I have cash, so never. Oh, so this guy doesn't really have much money, I'm guessing. Notes on a fridge. Come on, buy suit, pay bills, don't die. Well, that's a big massive notes that you always give yourself every single day. Fossil chemicals. Leaving fossil developers in the kitchen in a short sure roll to poisoning or a great soup. Wow, so this this badger is like he really isn't feeling good at all. He really isn't. Like at least he has a good view, but he's not really feeling best. At all. I'll wash these later. Probably not. I'm not finding that he feels good. He doesn't feel good about things. Toilet books. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Swell toilet read. Well, at least he's got a good toilet read. That's something that's always good to have. Ah, let's place the chemicals here. Everything knows its proper place. Heh. That must be Mrs. Green. Oh, it's got proper tents. I like I like this music. Right, who's at the door? Old it. Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for Detective Ladder. We spoke on the phone? What? I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green. At your service, Mrs. Green. How's your day going? That's me. You were vague before, so tell me everything, Mrs. Green. Right, so I, I feel like we'll go for number three. <clears throat> what is? Please. And it's a matter I'd like to be discreet about. Alright, what are we dealing with? Two, you don't last long in this game with a loose tongue. You have something to hide. 
Well, she seems like a really nice person, so I don't think she has something to hide, so I'll ask what are we dealing with. I understand. I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. He's missing. I'm listening. He's a cheater, ain't he? Oh! Oh, so... We could ask two questions or we could see how this develops more. I do kind of want to see how this develops more, but I also just want to like take a shot in the dark here. I kind of want this badger to seem, you know, like he's a bit of a cocky person, you know, because from what I've seen, he's, he's depressed, he's falling depressed, so he's going to want to say a couple of things that sound funny to cheer himself up. So, he's a cheater, ain't he? I think so. Wow, I got it on the nose. But I'd need real proof, right? To go to the court? Court? Are you filing the divorce? Tell me about the affair. I'll get you the proof of it. I'm taking a case. Tell me about the affair. What do you need to know? Well, we're gonna need to know if there's any facts. So, let's get the facts. We need to know the facts. What kind of facts? What else could he be? <coughs> Gotta have a cough. Ah, uh, nice cup of tea. How did you catch with of the affair? Tell us everything. The judge isn't going to just give us the benefit of the doubt. Tell me everything. The judge isn't going to just give us the benefit of the doubt. If you say so. <laughs> he hasn't been hiding well. His behaviour is abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies and smells funny. How late are we talking? Way past the kid's dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is pertinent, Mrs. Lotel. He threatened to take the kids. Hold it. Personal details can make or break a case. I don't see how this would help. You take a photo of my husband. I have to know if he's dangerous. We, I have to know if he's dangerous. Fine. He has a mean temper. Unpredictable. That's all you need to know. Let's talk about court then. You want to file the divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids? I... I can't take any chances anymore. Okay, so she really wants to lead this guy. She really does, and she's very scared that this guy is going to do something bad with her or the kids. I feel like we already have enough information to say that, you know, we should take the case. But, has he said or done something that, you know, to make her feel like he would? This is a separate issue. One I don't want to dig up right now. Evidence for a custody battle is extra. So... You have to be joking. Every silver of misery is another loom in your pocket. Is that it? Audit, you have to understand. I can't take any risks. My neighbor, let's move on or I'll find someone else. Fine, I'll take the case. Let's talk final details. Sure. What do you need to know? Okay, so the main thing and what we need is, what does he look like? 
here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones. And his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Where can I find him usually? Usually, at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Going back to the case details, do you need to know everything else? Anything else? Well, I'd need to know everything else, but to get a full nail on it, we'll ask on where he works. At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. Okay, what's his full name? Any analysis? Any aliases? Ally, allies. Oh! Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. Jez? What a name. Jez. Um, okay, right, so how would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Okay, have you met any of his friends? No, but he mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. They should be enough. That, uh, <laughs> that should be enough. There's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now. And fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes. Plus any unexpected pre expenses. Expenses. Eh, I can't speak today. Or tonight, I should say. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? To be honest, I can't. All I can do is my best. I care about my clients. Your problems are my problems. It's a matter of trust, on it. Do you trust me? I care about my clients. Don't let me down, Mr. Lotto. I trust you with my life. Of course, I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, on it. Right, so, we have a new objective. That new objective Greenville. Greenville, where the night comes to life. So we have to worry about the night mainly. It's got rough edges, but feels like home. Right, okay. Let's go to Greenville. So I'm guessing like with the backbone, it's like, you know, having that backbone, you know, not backing down. Granville. Okay, so. Right. Greenville. Smells like wet concrete. Overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. Let's talk to a squirrel. Yo, old man. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Yeah. How was your day so far? Just hanging? What's up with you? You could say I'm hanging too. From my hanging to yours? Peace, bro. Goodbye then. Oh, the lawyer's office, Vermin and Sons. And that must be a something sheer up bar. Hold shift to run right. The only time it would be necessary to hold shift for running is when I'm chasing someone. Right, let's talk to a Natalie. Hey. If it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to on a fine evening like this? Hey, Anatoly. 
I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? You know, I have a terrible memory for faces, but hey, wanna hear a great story? Um, can I wait? I'm trying to find a guy. Otto. Always carry, Otto always carries a briefcase. You've seen him around. It's only short. My wifey is Rella and I blessed the shepherd. We got a second lad due soon. Second? You guys are lucky. Thanks. He's a big one too. AC is round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story. I tell her. Ha. Woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you the ch Woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk in the car. Trunk of the car. Uh, I need to read properly. <laughs> Great, can you answer a couple of my questions first? Howie, he's up. What's so important you can't let a friend tell the story? I'm looking for a guy. Here's the photo. Seen him recently? Pfft. I don't know, Howie. I see so many faces. I know those scrawny sorts like flashing their cash at the bit. At the bite, though. Have you seen him there? I look like the kind of guy to be in there. Has he have my balls anyway? Howie, you're scurring off my client, you know. Alright, thanks, Anamalyn. See you around. Let's look at the rogue. They did a great job restoring the rogue. If people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Probably. It was movies that made, like, society better. Cocktails on a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Okay, so Dr. Cyclops. Ooh, Northern tickets. Let's look at this poster. Eden Simmons in the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight, only at the bite. Cool. That's nice. Right, let's look inside this bank. Wolf Bank. Is there where green works? Is this where green works? Right, let's look at. Let's ask this banker. We're gonna ask everyone we know. Well, everyone we see. Yeah. How are you doing this pleasant evening? Why do you care? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this man recently? The fuck? Jess? Who are you? What's going on? I'm Wallace. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him anywhere, everywhere. So it's better if we lie. You and me both, pal. And Derek. Good luck getting it back anytime soon. Oh, he'll pay if we can find him. Seen him today? Of course. But the wind path. The wind has left work early. He's scared. Derek's gonna split his wig, eh? Something happened at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Did you boys spend time with him outside work? Where do you think he headed? Yeah. We used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday, until he turned into a needy leech. The bite? Could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? No, skedaddle, rack. I'll do just that. Wow, that banker is rude. That's a rude banker. Right, let's look at the bite. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. I'm, I'm sort of loving the way that this game is going. Let's talk to Hank. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Perhaps a couple of long, or perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Perhaps a couple of loons. 
I'd be more careful with my mouth if I were you. Tiny stripper man. Tiny striper man. Alright, see ya. Right, there must be there must be a better way on trying to get into the Right, let's go down this alleyway. There's gotta be a way on getting into the vibes. Let's talk to Larry. Howard. Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Wow, Larry, the one and only. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? <laughs> Who are you calling old man? You old rascal. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. <coughs> Who really expects to see anyone around? Of note in a back alley. What's going on? What are you up to? Wait, do you live here? I'm still a private detective. I'm happy for you. My old gig went down hill a while back. You live here now? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? No, I live at the bridge. It's really not as bad as it sounds. I'm so sorry, Larry. Can I help in any way? Not really. Thank you. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife. That's what we're thinking. Oh gosh, poor lady. What's he like? I feel like <laughs> my voice keeps on changing for the characters. He's about my height, chubby, wears a green hat. Here's a photo. I haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. Thanks. I'll catch you later. Bye. Right, how would I go about in getting to the back? No answer. Okay, so there's no answer. Right. Let's try and get in. What do you want? Can I get inside? Still no. Don't ask again. Bye. Right, let's see if... But the bouncer won't let me into the vibes. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Ah, I didn't think of that. Have you any ideas of how I could get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid. With the leather jacket? He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? Your typical like hype and shatter fang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. And you think this Johnny guy help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. All right, hopefully that's enough to get me into the vibes. Thanks. Right, so that's probably enough to get me in. Control, okay. Ah, crap. Down is on Judy in the booth for her head. I can't deal with him right now. Right, ooh.
we call Mart? Oh. Old owner's still tending to the shop. I should say hi before he gets driven out by Yummy Mart. Maybe next time. No, let's go in. I can't go in, so yeah, maybe next time. Right, so... Are we looking to get in here? Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Wow, yeah. Garbage can. What's in the garbage, garbage can? Let's see. Sacks, takeaway boxes, cigs. Aha! A ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Yes! Right, let's run back. And let's give a ticket into the guy. Oh, son of a tit. Howard, come over here, boy. Hi, I'm in a hurry. Talk later. To find a real job, I hope. I have my own PI agency, Downey. And what are you investigating, detective? Murder, heist, the juicy stuff? Always with the bullshit. Your poor mother. What is wrong with your generation, honestly? Why do you care? We're basically family. Maybe one day, you'll learn what that means. I don't care what it means. So edgy. You're not 14 anymore. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I have to go on. Come on. When did we last catch up? Have you seen my shiny new honor badge? It's real shiny. Atta boy. That's what Lydia said. She does love me. Maybe too much. Poor Lydia. Yeah, what? Why? I really am going now. God. Down is. Down is really doesn't like me at all. What do you want? I have a ticket right here. What is this? <laughs> You're a funny fella, aren't you? So, can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster, so no. But thanks for a good laugh. Wanna hear another joke? No, don't taste my patience. All right, I'll... A bear, a raccoon, walk into a barn. Fuck off. You're not fun. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, they really are not fun. How's this person seen him or anything? Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news. Anything good happening for a change? For a loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. I just want the headline. Front pages today are all great hate parade. Preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. How is that news? It's the same every year. No way. The floats are different every time. Gonna sell mounds of nibbles. Drop by. Thanks. See you around. Helpful. Right, so there's clearly something else that I need to do. Which I'm guessing is giving this ticket to... Like this guy, I'm guessing. I'm guessing give the ticket to Larry. I'll be back when I sniff something out. Never mind, we won't. No answer. Right, so there's gotta be something that we have to do. Right, it's just what do we need to do? Wait, squirrel, leather jacket. Oh, yes. Yo, old man. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Name's Wallace. What do you want, Waldo? You got any drugs? Heard you deal monkey butt. I need to get into the bite. I'll bet you do, pal. But why should I care? I'm a detective, my target is inside the club. I can't say that to him. Heard they sell monkey bones. 
through you. The fuck? Where did we get that stupid idea, Striper? Larry. Well, you just signed Larry's death warrant. Sure I did. Sure I did, tough guy. Look, I really need help with the bouncer. But you know where to get it. Just lead me through the bouncer is all I'm asking. I really don't have time. Right. Hank doesn't let any old chomp in. For good reason. Say I make you... Sympatico. Sim... Sympatico. What does Johnny get in return? Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. Just a warm, fuzzy feeling. You're a nice guy after all. I'm a detective. My mark is in the bite. I'll owe you one. Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. Tread lightly, punk. I will take you in an, into an alley and fuck you up if you, you're not careful. Wow, this guy is he's lethal. See that police dog down the street? I bet Downey would love to sniff your pockets. You feel me? Have you seen yourself? Why would I go anywhere with you? Is that a promise? I got nothing on me. I was just playing. What are you gonna do, bitch? You were about to deal. I have proof. Don't try to up me, baby face. What's that in your pocket then? Or are you just happy to see me pay up? Or you want something right now? I could be, if you play your cards right. Oh, that's a good line. What the fuck are you suggesting? Look into my eyes. Listen. Yeah? Help me. Please. I'm warning you. This is your last chance. I don't want to blow it. Or else what? Get angry. Do it. I don't want to blow it. Then shut up and buy something. That's not what I'm here for. You really don't want to do this. I know what I want to do. What am I doing, Johnny? You're making a big mistake. Get me into the fight. It's all I want. You know what? Fine. I don't even care. Let go. Let's go. I'll talk to Hank. Thank you. That's all I wanted from you. That's all I wanted. What do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought my favorite customer, Striper. You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. All right, we made it inside. 